so guys um, I am here and I am recording this video <sighs> and this is kind of my YouTube rant this is me coming on here to like explain what is with me and what is with you too. so um this is 2017 right and i'm not certain how many of you know but if you look at my videos you would think that i only started youtube about three years ago which was like 2014 so i think that's that's um when um my videos started on this channel but that's actually not true i have actually been on youtube since like 2010 um, I started my channel then and I used to do videos and stuff then and um, I had a lot more subscribers than I have now but then kind of like in 2014 kind of how Google and YouTube kind of changed and it had it linked to your um, name now and it was just this kind of whole separate thing with this page and all of this kind of thing I kind of really got frustrated and I just wanted to stick with one name but I really didn't want it to be um, my full name which is Candice Rubin because that YouTube account that email account as well was just um, it was um, it was tied to a personal um, it was not tied to a personal account it was a title like uh, account that I would have used like if I was setting up resumes for jobs and that kind of thing so it wasn't something I just wanted to keep I, I wanted to kind of keep it separate but I just kind of just deleted my all uh, my my videos and um, I started over my channel and uh, and within that time I found that YouTube has changed from like 2010 to now in the span of seven years YouTube and the social media game has like totally changed now it's like you're out there and you're seeing I mean channels what I let me start with why I came to YouTube. I came to YouTube because I had a real I started to develop a real passion for doing makeup and stuff. And I get on I got onto YouTube and I found a channel where girls were doing makeup and they were showing you makeup. And back in those days in terms of makeup and makeup tutorials you used to see on YouTube, it was about technique. It wasn't about product. Now YouTube is this whole mass marketing scheme and it is all about product. So every month, every two months, you're seeing companies launching new products. You're seeing YouTube gurus or now as they're termed influencers. You see them coming out with all of these videos and showing you the makeup and all of this kind of things. And it has promoted this mass consumerism. And to me, that has taken away from what the good old days YouTube was. The good old days was about getting on there, sharing your videos, sharing your knowledge, getting support, and you know, learning from others and growing. And now it's just like this really, really big marketing scheme. It's now all it is about like followers and how much people are subscribed to you and how much and content you have and all that kind of thing. And it it, it just has taken it just has taken place it, it, it just has detracted for me from YouTube a lot of the people that I started to look at on YouTube I don't even look at them anymore because now every time you go on there they are promoting all of these big companies where they this makeup and that makeup and that makeup and I feel as though it's not a place where you as a person who has a passion for something but in terms of the makeup industry i don't think that it is it is now it's no longer a haven for people to come on there and like you know look up a makeup tutorial and how to do makeup or what it is to do and because now everybody is just going out for these big expensive makeup in those days in those days like in 2010 2011 and so forth and stuff 2012 and stuff when you got onto youtube the products was MAC. Now it's just blossomed into Anastasia Beverly Hills and 
now the new craze is Fenty and all of these kinds of things and in a world where our economy is just not so stable the fact that women and are out there and they are promoting these expensive brands and I mean young girls are thinking that in order to look that good they need to get these expensive brands it's it's just upsetting and it's just depressing to me I mean I also have a problem with how we have now influencers and all of these personalities via Instagram and YouTube and stuff. The mass following that they have and if you look at the makeup industry, it's always a scandal. It's always a bacchanal. It's always a comment. And I don't think people are going back to realize that now they are out there. Um, they are now a role model for young people, young, I can't even really say young girls anymore because now the guys are getting into the makeup and the boys are liking the makeup and they are following it along. So the youth out there in general, I mean you now, you when you put yourself out there as a YouTuber and as an influencer, you now have a responsibility with your content that you are putting out there and you are impacting so many impressionable minds and when you come out there with your bacchanal and your feud and your this with it and your that and your that how are you now as a person uh, contributing what good are you doing to society and that sticks with me in a particular place that i am not really comfortable with so you see this new youtube that we have got towards where people are just out there for likes people are out there for followers people are out there to the most subscribers i am not comfortable with that i'm a homeowner and this is my channel and my personal space and for me i just want to get back to what it is i went to youtube to do so i went to youtube to um be hi amit i went to youtube to be inspired to be able to find makeup that i can do and i i really wanted to add now it's like can you do makeup? I mean, is it that you are able now to say, okay, hmm, I have the confidence to try that look? Because a lot of the products that people are using, I mean, the basic average everyday Joe cannot afford it. I mean, when you need to think about this month, I need to pay groceries, I need rent, or I don't pay rent, so you need groceries, you need rent, you need this, you need that. That 400 or something TT dollars that you're putting out to buy a uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette or that um, TT something US you're putting out to buy that Fenty foundation. Not everybody could afford that. Um, so I think I want to take my YouTube channel back to being budget friendly. Let's go out there for the women who have the cheaper drugs or products that you can probably go down Pennywise and buy. And it's it's comfortable and you know to go out there and show people that you don't need all of these expensive products to really get a banging makeup look I mean it's not as I said YouTube back in the day was about technique when you looked at channels like um, the real techniques um, the pixie Wu sisters they showed you technique when you look at people like um, goss makeup artists they give you technique it's not about the products Yes, products might have an impact on, I mean, because of the formulation and the thing that they put in it, it would, it will probably assist in the longevity of your makeup, but it will assist in how it is you, um, and, and how it, the finish looks as well. I mean, you know, you have dewy, you have matte, you have this, you have that, you have the other. But people have just missed the fact that it's technique. Sometimes you can use the cheapest of products and you can get a really, really good makeup look. And... You need, and when I had to, I mean, when I was now up and coming in the makeup, when I started to see everybody starting to buy MAC, and at that point in time, I'm paying for school, I am, I have expenses, I am doing this, I'm doing that, and at that point in time, I was paying for school in pounds, and I wasn't paying for school in TD dollars, my school fees was in pounds, in addition to which I wasn't taking a loan, so that was money I am saving out of my monthly salary, putting aside every month, every month to be able to pay my school fees when it's time to and I still want to look good, when I started to see everybody wear using MAC this, MAC that, MAC that, and in those days, I'm not even dreaming to afford MAC because I had other financial responsibilities it was a turn off to me so I am beginning to think that sometimes you know there are people out there who don't have it 
I need probably still want to look good and it's to empower women or empower men if they wish to wear makeup as well or whoever right that you don't need expensive products I mean I created this look with basically Jordana products and that is an inexpensive drugstore makeup and it looks good I mean you get a really good finish and I mean that's what I want to bring my YouTube channel back out of back to so I am not so I'm not out here now I am going back to what my passion is to doing makeup to using affordable products being on the products that the everyday Joe could save a little bit of money you probably spend a hundred and something dollars on a nice little foundation or something and you foundation powder and you go and you get your products going and you can do great makeup right I want to get back to producing putting that out from my channel I want to give back to the people in terms of allowing them to feel empowered and not making them feel like they need the latest and the best makeup products that come out every month I mean I can't keep up it is ridiculous so this is just me coming up and saying that here yeah, what my youtube channel is no longer going to be about the latest and the greatest products when the products come out if i buy it i buy it if i could review it i review it but i want to start going back to my roots again back to my simple makeup tutorials that are based on technique so enhancing me getting that technique out there and showing people it and just not really caring so if you wish to subscribe so after this it's like if you wish to subscribe subscribe if you don't want to subscribe don't subscribe i really don't care i am doing this for me and it's not for public approval this is just a platform for me to show my creativity and i am going to do that and too bad with the trends too bad with everything else i mean you need to be true to yourself so guys that was just me and my youtube rant and what it is i feel that's been going on and this commercialized industry of makeup and just how i plan to go forward with my channel so peace out guys bye